Hello and welcome to today's episode of 3D Drawing for your Model Railway. Um, in the last lesson we drew this 40 foot container um, and what I'm going to do today is going to show you how you can convert this 40 foot um, down to a 20 foot container just using the sketch history and changing a couple of the settings that we've previously used. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is going to scroll the sketch history back all the way pretty much to the start and we're going to work our way through it changing some of the settings as we go along. So the first thing we need to do is change this quarter of the container we use. So we'll edit the sketch and the distance we originally had was 40. So we're going to change that down to 20. Gives us the half that we're after. And then we're just going to move our way through the drawing. The um, lifting lugs in the corner, they'll be fine. We won't need to change them because we're not changing anything on that current position. Coming up now is where we're going to have to change the first thing here is the pattern. Okay, so we're going to edit that feature. So the first thing we want to do is half the container length, so we want half the quantity. Um, and then we've reduced the distance um, of the spread down to 16. Um, because we took 20 foot out of the container, that's the easiest way is to take 20 foot out there. That's now reduced the number of ribs we've got on the roof there. Again, we'll work our way along. Here's going to be the next pattern that we need to change. So again, we go into that, edit the feature, change that again down to 16, and the quantity of the pattern down to 9. Again, working along the mirror now automatically moves and uh, works fine because all you're doing is mirroring on the same face. Then the pattern here is going to be on the end here. Again, we've made no difference to the whip, so that won't need changing. And the next thing here is the pattern on the door face. Again, we haven't changed anything there, so that should be fine. Working our way along, seeing this is all still loading in correctly. Okay, got to the end there, and we've got our 20 foot container. So that took us all of a few minutes to go and change what we had as a 40 foot container down to 20 foot so now we can load up our um, container trains with a good mix of 40 and 20 foot containers. I hope you've enjoyed that short little lesson there. Um, it should give you an idea of how you can go back in the history of objects you've created and changing things. Although you will have to be careful on certain items you do that potentially you could go back and one change in a certain position can cause you knock in effects further down the road. But you then have to go back in and start moving things around to try and get it to work correctly or maybe even completely redraw, redrawing certain items. If you have any questions please leave a comment below um, and please like, press the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. 